this is a very very important double integration and this is from your university paper also and the double integration is integration 0 to infinity and also this is 0 to infinity e to the power minus x square plus 2xy cos alpha plus y square dx dy where alpha is constant but the range of alpha is 0 to pi it is given from the range we say that this is the range of first quadrant because this is 0 to infinity and this is also 0 to infinity ok now we first transfer this integration into polar coordinate so we put x this is equal to r cos theta and y this is equal to r sin theta and we know that the Jacobian of this transformation and the mod of this Jacobian is del xy by del r theta this is equal to r ok and the transformation as dx dy this is r dr d theta clearly we get here by this transformation the region becomes region becomes a circle in the first quadrant that is the range of theta is from 0 to theta from pi ok and the range of r is this is r equal to 0 to this is r equal to infinity ok because the range is 0 to infinity and 0 to infinity so r is 0 to infinity and theta is 0 to pi so this integration is equal to integration theta this is equal to 0 to pi by 2 and integration r this is equal to 0 to infinity e to the power minus we put the value of x and y here we get this is r square plus 2 sin theta cos theta into cos alpha also and there is 1 r square this is r dr d theta and we rewrite this also one times this is 0 to infinity theta equal to 0 to pi by 2 this is e to the power minus 1 plus sin 2 theta into cos alpha into r square r dr d theta Clearly, if we integrate this term, that is integrate with respect to r, we get this is integration theta equal to 0 to pi by 2 and this is half into 1 plus sin 2 theta into cos alpha here and there will be also a minus because it is e to the power minus x type and another term is e to the power minus 1 plus sin 2 theta cos alpha into r square right and the range of this integration we write minus up on the outside of this integration and this is the range 0 to infinity d theta and to this integration we put here 1 plus sin 2 theta into cos alpha into r square this is equal to p so we get 2r into 1 plus sin 2 theta cos alpha dr this is equal to dv and from here we put the value of dr and get the integration as this ok now put the range we get minus half into integration 0 to pi by 2 if we put upper range infinity then e to the power minus infinity this becomes 0 and when we put lower range this is equal to 1 by 1 plus sin 2 theta cos alpha and this is e to the power 0 means 0 and the integration is like this minus and minus 
cancel out and get the second line or the next line as this. This is the integration. Now we multiply this integration numerator and denominator by 6 square theta and get half into integration 0 to pi by 2 6 square theta by this is 6 square theta means 1 plus 10 square theta plus this term becomes 2 into tan theta into quotient half into integration 0 to pi by 2 6 square theta by if we write cos square alpha plus sin square alpha in the place of 1 we get this is cos square alpha plus sin square alpha plus tan square theta plus 2 tan theta into cos alpha d we get this is half into integration 0 to pi by 2 this is equal to 6 square theta d theta by this is tan theta plus cos alpha whole square plus sin square alpha right now here we put tan theta plus cos alpha this is equal to z right then 6 square theta d theta this is equal to dz and we get this integration as like this integration dz by z square plus sin square alpha so we get this is 1 by sin alpha into tan inverse z by sin alpha so this integration becomes we write here this is equal to half into integration sorry this is 1 by sin alpha into tan inverse z z means this term this is tan theta plus cos alpha by sin alpha and the range is range 0 to pi by 2 and when we put the upper range that is we get upper range pi by 2 if we put theta equal to pi by 2 then this is infinity so tan inverse infinity minus and when we put lower range that is theta equal to 0 then we get tan inverse cot alpha ok so half into integral half into 1 by sin alpha into this is pi by 2 minus tan inverse cot alpha and we use the property that tan inverse x plus cot inverse x this is equal to pi by 2 so we get cot inverse x this is equal to pi by 2 minus tan inverse x right so we use this formula here and get half 1 by sin alpha into this is cot inverse cot alpha and so half into alpha by sin alpha and our answer is alpha by 2 into